Good morning. It's the first day of October, and this is your daily devotion from Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene for October 1st, Thursday. Our scripture verse today is from the book of Mark, and we will be reading verses or in chapter 11, verses 7 through 11. Here is the word of the Lord. When they brought the cult to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went to Bethany with the twelve. This is the word of God. Our article today is titled, His Name Blesses Us. And our focused, focused verse in Mark 11 is verse 9. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. His name blesses us. James Hampton writes, I love parades. The pageantry, the sounds, and the festive moods combine to create an atmosphere of celebration. Such was the case as Jesus entered Jerusalem. The people have a sense that the Messiah has come. What the crowd shouted was originally a liturgical psalm that served as the focus for prayer, praise, and thanksgiving. As Jesus would come to the temple, it would be sung out, serving both as a greeting but also as a reminder that it was God who made their journey possible. Our tendency is to think of God's blessing only in terms of material things. However, the greatest blessing God offers are different. Salvation, grace, peace, and His Spirit. Without these, any material blessings are nothing more than dust. When we offer our praises, we choose to bless God. Because God is above everything else, when we offer the shout of Hosanna, we are not changing anything about God. All we are doing is acknowledging the greatness of who He is. When God chooses to bless us, we are always changed, often profoundly so. Whether it is our external circumstances or our inward state, we are better off than we were before. For this, we give thanks. Him is from Johnston Oakman, Jr., Count Your Blessings. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God hath done. And the parallel scripture verse is, again, from Psalm, book one, or chapter 118, verses 22 through 24. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. I hope that you rejoice today and be glad. Have a good day.